Hello, today we are going to talk about KD Craft. So we learn C, C R A F T, not with a K. Okay, so this is a project from the KD community hosted as usual in invent.kd.org under the organization packages, GitLab organization, and the name of the Git repo is Craft, with a C. Okay. And says open source meta build system and package manager. What does Readmore do? Nothing. Craft is a cross-platform package manager providing source builds as well as binary artifacts for hundreds of libraries, Qt and KD frameworks. Craft on cloud client. Blueprint repository. Okay, so it's under the KD minus Windows group at uh, the KD organization. Okay, let's see what setting up craft means. Community KD org slash craft. And this does not work because why? Need to refresh. Okay. So Craft is an open source meta build system and package manager. It manages dependencies and builds libraries and applications from source on Windows. That's what we're going to use it for. So setting up Craft, start crafting on Windows. Craft is capable of installing an embedded Python version sufficient for most packages still recommends a full install of Python. Okay. It wants a Python, let's do that. So the latest for Windows, that's 3.10 and MD64. Okay. So, add Python 3.10 to path, store launcher for all users, customize installation, documentation, Python test suite, my launcher, back. I don't know what these things are, the Pi launcher. Next, install for all users C program files Python 3.10, so that it has a space in name, which is a problem, but that's the way it is. Associate files with Python. Why? Create shortcuts for installed applications, add Python to environment variables, pre-compile standard library, download debugging symbols, download debug binaries. Let's hope this works. Okay. So it's installing. Let's read some more. So setting up PowerShell required to be at least version 5. If you're running Windows 10, I'm running Windows 11. I don't need to update PowerShell. Let's just be curious. So PowerShell. And uh, this method or what this thing is. Copy. 
middle click paste does not work on Windows. 5.1, so it's at least 5.0. We're good to continue. Online tutorial documentation. Type py to launch Python or search for Python in the start menu. This thing. So it has the IDE, the minimal ID, ID ILE. Patron 3.10, which is the command line interpreter. A 2E shell or something, yeah. And then uh, modules, docs. It's this. Okay, so web app with um, documentation about the modules. Q to quit. Disable path length limit. Where did you, we do that? The developer something. Developer settings. Install apps from any source, including loose files. Yes. Turn on remote diagnostics over LAN. Device discovery. Change settings to show file extensions. Change settings to show hidden. Change settings to show full path. Change policy to show run as a different user in start. Empty drives. Apply these guys. Remote desktop. Terminal. Allow local PowerShell scripts to run without signing. Okay. What else? Where are the extra sim links and two five five? Characters limitation in the path. Max path. Max path. Okay, I don't really know what this setting is set. So change is your machine configuration to allow programs including Python to bypass the 260 max path limitation. Yes to that. Close. Setting up a compiler so we can choose between me and GW and uh, Visual C. So me and GW cannot build uh, Blink, probably the web engine from. Uh, Google, Chrome. Okay, so let's see if we have Visual Studio installed. Visual Studio. Installer.
modify. So I need the desktop development with C++. This guy. C++ ATL. Probably this one. Windows SDK, one of those. The latest. One dot zero one ninety forty one. Okay, so this should be it. Modify, yes. Okay, so let's read some more. Optional direct X SDK for mean GW. We're not using mean GW, we're using MSVC. Enable development mode. Allow symbolic links. Where? How do we enable this thing? How to do it? That you need. For developers settings dialog. Where is that? For developers. Okay, so I don't know where to do this. Windows device portal is enabled and firewall rules are configured for it only when the enabled device portal is turned on. Installs and configures firewall rules for SSH services that allow remote installation of apps. Simlinks. Okay. Mm. 
next. Install craft start the partial environment. Run it as administrator. Okay, let's do that. So let's see, PowerShell. Let's run the update, Visual Studio. Windows PowerShell. Run this administrator. Okay, let's see. Allow execution of PowerShell scripts by executing the following command. Execution policy helps protect you from scripts that you do not trust. Changing the execution policy might expose you to security risks. Do you want to change the execution policy? E, yes to all. Internet Explorer object. Object network client download string three S one. Start to bootstrap craft. Where do you want to install craft in some directory with no spaces in name? So craft root seems okay. Okay, so python.exe craft bootstrap.pi branch master select compiler default is Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Do you want to enable the support for colored logs? Default is yes, so I'm pressing enter. Users admin update roaming Python Python 3.3.10 scripts. Okay, let's copy this string. Successfully installed color logs, human friendly, and pi read line. Should have installed per machine, not per the user admin. Very ugly what it did. Do you want to install a start menu? Yeah, entry. Default is yes. Enter. Unable to locate Visual Studio. A 
let's wait for the update of Visual Studio to complete. And then we'll run it again. Where is PowerShell? Okay, so 30 packages more to install. Let's see if it starts. Okay, let's run it again. Install. Copy. Correct. Or it exists. Why? Control C. Let's delete the directory. Shift delete. Let's try again. So it's necessary to have the environment variables set. What are these things? Let's uh, set these to environment variables. So, where is that? environment variables per system new redist dir
So there's C program files. So Visual Studio. There's nothing in here. Maybe on the other place. So for 64 bit applications. Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. Community. PC. Redis. MSVC. Long version. Control C. Control V. PC install directory. And uh, everything up to VC. C program files Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 community VC. Okay. Don't we need to be inside of the PowerShell developer for Visual Studio 2022? See, okay. So default is Microsoft Visual Studio 20... What, 2019? I have 2022 installed. So Craft doesn't support such a thing. Visual Studio 2022, 20, just 2019. Okay, so it can't locate Visual Studio because I have a two new Visual Studio. It only supports Visual Studio 2019. Okay, let's install that. Okay, don't we have a Visual Studio 2019 in here? Twenty nineteen. 
How do we download the previous version of Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition? edition download. Continue. So can I start another instance while this instance is running? What does it do? Nothing. Okay. So Visual Studio Installer for uh, Visual Studio 2019 Community. Visual Studio Community 2019. I need desktop development for with C++. Let's go back to where we started. Okay, so desktop development with C++, C++ ATL. Yes, Windows SDK. Yes. This should be it. Okay, so this is my best guess that uh, Visual Studio 2022 is not yet supported by KD Craft. That's why I have uninstalled Visual Studio Community 2022 
and I have installed Visual Studio Community 2019. Let's delete again the craft directory. Okay, so installed, 30 packages remain to be installed. We need to edit these environment variables. Let's see if the directory has already appeared. So. Program files, Visual Studio 2022 is empty. So it's 2019 community. This we read this time as we see this long thing. Control C. Okay, so VC tools registered here. This thing I'm going to put the correct directory for Visual Studio Community 2019. And VC installed here. Everything up to VC with a trailing backslash. This thing. Craft root. No account create one, not now, maybe later. Development settings, C, dark. Okay, so Visual Studio started successfully. Yes to all A. Pretty hard to copy this command. Copy. So C column access craft root. Okay, and now it says select compiler Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Do you want to enable the support for colored logs? Yes. Do you want to install a start menu and 3D photos? Yes. 
And now it started uh, Python to taxi. Tev utils c make minus space. Tev utils seven zip seven zip a. Windows MSVC twenty nineteen underscore sixty four minus CL dot zip. Image here with the tag info if you tears W get if you tears git thirty eight per cent. K shim gen dot x the batch file cannot be found craft or succeed virtual and VHL Could not find more Python modules pip EIP. Could not resolve host in vent.kit.org. So we tried just once. So we need to run this like 100 times until it succeeds. A.
What else? So scanning the drive, extracting archive, everything is okay. Craft all succeeded. Util snor toast after three seconds. Installing shortcut. Start menu snor toast. Ln K. Okay, let's see the snor toast. Where is the snort toast? Cannot find the process with the name snort toast. So bean. Snort toast, this guy. Windows toast applications. Snort toast options. Okay, so it it seems to be okay. Let's see how can we actually build something with this uh, build framework. Exceptions to your antivirus, no such a thing. The antivirus is disabled. So that's, this is a vanilla Windows 11 virtual machine. I have disabled the antivirus. This policy turn off Microsoft Defender antivirus enabled. We've also disabled Windows Update. Configure automatic updates policy disabled. Okay, using craft. To use craft, you need to start a PowerShell window. Should it be running as administrator or not? Doesn't say. Let's try with um, PowerShell that's not running as administrator. I should run C column backslash craft root backslash craft backslash craft and dot ps1. So it says Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 64 bit CL git master branch C column backslash craft root. Okay, start crafting. Okay, search something. Craft minus minus search. Okay, calc. No search. Cache. Package key calc found. There's a blueprint for such a thing. Options, build type, debug. Storing a package. Uh, 
for the set options. Okay, let's not go there. So again, search for kcalc to install just uh, the name of the executable, which is craft, and then just the package name, which is kcalc, which is a git repository, which is a KD project. So what does it do? It downloads a pearl. It does something with pearl. What else? After it uh, finished installing pearl, then it does NASM, Netwide Assembler. Then it does OpenSSL, so libs slash OpenSSL. Okay. Then it does libs uh, backslash expat. Expat package config. And then it goes MCs to base x86 64. Compile dev utils MCs. Clean image install. Not sure what, what all of these did. So it seems to have uh, downloaded already existing um, binary archives, so things that were compiled using Windows MSVC 2019-64, and it just extracted those um, archives. So the archives are 7-zip archives. I didn't see the C or C++ compiler from Visual C++ ever run. I don't. I did not see the compiler running. Post install. Too much. mcs.exe kshimgen.exe Okay. What else? GNUPG, Etsy host, Etsy protocols, Etsy services, Etsy network, min GW, GPG, Pacman from MCs, downloading the metadata of the package repositories. Something is not okay with the MC's repositories. Pacman minus SY.
mirrorsurfnet.d So it, uh, MCS tries to install using Arch Linux's package manager, which is Parkman. Zlib, zip2, lib, lz4, libexpat, libpsl, lib, lzma, dash, libas1, gzip, neto, etc. libpcr, e2. Okay, so it has uh, managed to download all of the packages for MCs and now it's installing them. Post install hooks for Info database. FTP.ECC.UMU.SE. Build stuff, text info, bison, build tools, auto make auto conf, make lib tool, flex m4, fetch, intl tool. Craft all succeeded review tears slash MCs after 6 minutes and 21 seconds. Craft all succeeded libs lib FFI for in function interface. Zlib. So what does it do? It uh, downloaded some seed uh, executables mm -hmm. and then rebuilding everything, all of the, those executables from scratch using the compiler from Visual C++. Flex Bison, that's an already built 7z file, not a archive with source code. Okay, so this uh, virtual machine for some reason has intermittent issues where it can't download things. I don't know why that is. So we need to kcraft uh, to craft kcalc again. So on things this is the output of CMake and this something slash 87 is the output of make build and then it's going to do make install for QCA and now it failed again text widgets. So these are KF5 Git repositories, KD Frameworks version 5. Key wallet. CMake has a dot slash config uh, 
configure replacement. Okay, so it says that the following required have not been found. MPFR, GNU, multiple precision floating port, reliable library. How do I do that? MPFR. Could not find lib MPFR 4.1.0. So it knows the version. Yeah, so all of the failures on this machine are related to the intermediate, intermittent network connectivity issues. Okay, so MPFR is the GNU library, so it downloads it, uh, downloads the source code tarball. It uh, runs CMake instead of, or not. This being a GNU project and git and uh, tarball might actually do dot slash configure. That's why it's so slow. Everybody hates the slow speed of dot slash configure from the GNU tools. MPFR GNU MPFR library. So this is KCalc is a graphical user interface GUI calculator, similar to the calculator that it exists in Windows, which is calc.exe. Where is it? libgmp isn't provided as a DLL. Oh, we trust dot dash configure again. And uh, kcalc is a wrapper around the MPFR library. So it's a GUI front end on top of the MPFR library. Abacus by Michael Pine. Great show of speed. Okay, so MPFR cannot do anything because libgmp is not a DLL, it can only be statically linked. See that? GMP is up to date. Okay, what else? So KCalc is out of question. Something that's equally small. As small as KCalc, K algebra. Mm 
GLEW Patch field Very, very often the networking does not work. Algebra. So this is uh, CMake. This is make install. This is make uh, make. But it doesn't seem to use multi multi cores. How can we do that? KD craft CPU cores. Settings dot INI. What is that? Div utils Python 2 failed. Python 2. Div utils Python 2. A valid Python installation. Okay, so I need a Python too. Because Qt Web Engine. So I need to find a. I'm all. I'm either going to build Qt Web Engine, which is going to take hours. Or I'm going to select another application that does not depend on Qt Web Engine. Okay, so let's look at the Etsy craft settings ini by night. This thing so the correct um, compiler opt native tooling no hard links INC color Python some applications may need Python twenty seven yes Here I should set put uh, debug not relevant to the info. Ninja true. Make program jom. The fault number of two cores is determined by the build tool. Okay, so let's look at the KD applications in KD event. And try to find an application that's similar, that builds correctly using KD craft, that does not depend on Qt web engine. It does not depend on Python 2. Five. 
finite. Now let's go with um, the game or education. Bobo, bomber. It keeps downloading things instead of building things. Attica, which is a KD framework. KF5, can you start for KF5? Everything just downloaded, not built. Just the final application is being built, the one that you give as parameter to the craft command line. So just Bomber is built from source, the rest are downloaded from pre-built Okay, from pre-built um, archives. How do I craft gamma ray? Let's learn. Cute five. Ninja instead of make. Ninja already uses the maximum amount of cores it can, from what I know. So this is the make install step. Okay, this is gamma ray. The previous one was for KD state machine editor. This is the library that the depend uh, gamma ray depends on. This was the configure step. Make making gamma ray. And then install cut ups gamma ray. Do I run an application built by Craft? In here. Camera. One try. Okay, so I need, I need another application in order to exercise gamma ray. So let's go with a bomber. Did bomber succeed? Okay, where is bomber? Bomber, this guy. Okay, a list of processes. What happened to gamma ray? Process three. Okay. 
start camera again. Now we can connect to Bomber. I know it's showing one drive in here. Attach to Bomber. Yes. So this is the gamma ray I know. So using KD Craft with a C, which is a KD project, I was able to build from source gamma ray and its dependency KD state machine editor something. Okay. Where are the widgets in here? Okay, let's pick something. The bomber game widget. A Q label. A Q status bar. Is this a Q tool button, a Q menu bar, a Q tool button, Q tool button, Q tool bar separator? This thing is a K tool bar, main tool bar. Okay, so the button show high scores is a Qtool button, has the text show high scores, it's a Q string, has um, connections for pressed style changed icon size changed triggered released so this thing pressed inbound connection and outbound connections. No quick scenes, so no, it's just a to widgets application. To graphics picks map item. Two of them. Gamma Ray doesn't like the events tab. 
should do some um, throttling or something. It's possible to crash the gamma ray application if you don't click where you should. Close the program. Checked it, but we don't have the camera. So, probably need to kill the process. And process three once and twice. already injected. Okay, what other applications can we? So Bean seems to be, so this C craft root seems to be sort of like uh, C color, uh, C <laughs> seems to be like slash USR slash local. So this would be the Bean directory. Uh, this would be the man directory or else share man directory is the slash bar Block directory. Where is there such a thing? Slash USR slash local slash doc. Okay. There's a uh, MCs with a uh, terminal emulator which is I don't know which this or this mean GW shell and then there's a uh, CLang compiler and then all of the packages which were installed in MCs using Pacman. So that would be USR bin. What did it install? So it installed the development GNU tools, autoconf, auto make, auto everything. Bash Bison. Okay, so everything is under C colon backslash crab backslash MCs, minimal system for win, uh, Windows, minimal GNU system for Windows. Okay, what else? Strange directory for OpenSSL. There's a build directory. This is for uh, CMake things. So, for instance, Qt apps memory, and then the CMake build configuration.
or maybe this directory is compressed as a 7 zip archive and creates things like the 7 zip archives that uh, craft downloads and then expands might be the result of building that thing with a graph from source code creating this directory image minus rel with the info and then version and then 7 zip in this thing so right click 7 zip like this and then it's going probably these seven zip archives they're uh, downloaded to a central repository and uploaded to a central repository fars.kd.org from what I have seen work build what is this So this looks like the CMake build directory. The directory work build. And then where is the source code? Where we run git clone. not a git repository so it doesn't download uh, git repositories doesn't clone git repositories the source code probably was a um, restart for which was just extracted here how do we tell it to build git repositories KD binary fact factory binaries for uh, KD applications. For Mac OS. Okay, so there's a Jenkins. Uh, so continuous integration framework set up by KDE on binary minus factory.kd.org which builds the various KDE projects for various operating systems such as macOS ARM, macOS Intel, Windows, Linux, Flatpak, App image, Android, etc. You can see a flat pack build, Android x86, Android ARM, Android ARM 64, Win 64. Okay. KD craft build from git master. So KD SRC minus build is really good in the sense that it uh, git clones all of the git repos and then builds them in the correct order. Isn't there something similar for Windows such that it uh, downloads the git with git clones the git master version of bomber the game and then it builds that
Wow, so it's written by hand. Bomber game, what are the dependencies? Let's look at the history of this thing. You want ring beam, what? Hana von Red. So manually writing everything. Interesting. KD framework tier 1, K core addons, tier 1, K internationalization, tier 2, K crash, KD games, sleep KD games, Q5, Q base, ECM, virtual base. Doesn't have any versions in this file. That's why it's so stable across time. So it, there was no need to change the way Bomber is built using KD Craft since September 28th, 2018. So that's four years ago. Because it doesn't have any shasams of the tarball and version no URLs or nothing why where does it get the version from so it says branches master and release twenty two oh eight All tarballs are from the same place. From the same format. We just replace in here the version, the package name and the version. It URL package name and branches is never used. So it sounds like this is the way, the official way of building the KD projects for macOS, Android, Windows, etc. Not really for Git cloning a Git repo and then doing development on Windows. When I see the need for Python 2, I immediately smell like Q12 engine. Let's install uh, Python 2. So it says Python 27.
latest Python 2. MSI installer. So it will use environment variable Python 27. So for all users, Python 27, IP test suit, utility scripts documentation, 27 not um, setting, uh, not editing the environment variable path. Not setting this as the default Python, hopefully. Finish. So I need to start a new shell. What's the name? Falcon. Yeah, not a way to start uh, craft. So I need to run the craft in PS1. Craft Falcon. No Python twenty seven. So that's uh, Python twenty seven, this guy. Okay, so what did you do? No JS. No. Good idea. No JS for a web browser. Then Qt Web Engine. So it's uh, downloading a pre built um, Qt Web Engine. Because I can see in the name of the tarball the compiler that was used, MSVC 2019 64-bit Windows. If it were a source tarball, it would not have, uh, it would be in Arch tarball. Okay. What else? It's trying to download the manifest and it failed. Okay, and the source code is https downloadkd.org slash table slash release slash minus service 2280 SRC Falcon 2208.0. Where does this cr uh, come from? KD craft blueprints. This thing. So KD craft blueprints KDE. Master Blob KD Unreleased Falcon Falcon. Doesn't say any 
URLs. Doesn't say any version. So it says 2208, which is the default target, and downloads this thing HTTPS, download KDE org, stable release service version, which is the default 2208 zero, SRC for uh, source code tarballs, package name version tar xz. So it uh, finished building Falcon after 1 minute and 46 seconds. Falcon builds really, really fast because it doesn't really do much. It's just a wrapper over Qt Web Engine. So see make. Make. And then install. Okay, let's run uh, the web browser from KD, which is called Falcon. Where is it? Unreleased. Guessing the unreleased things do not land into in. Build where is unreleased KD Unreleased Falcon Image Plugins Work So this is the source code tarball extracted here and then build Qt Core 5 is not found. So this executable should be in bin, I guess. Alt F2C. Let's mess it up. So the majority of the content in uh, C colon backslash craft root backslash bin is, all, is from uh, already compiled 7-zip files. So already compiled git repositories, the build output, so the build artifacts are being then compressed with 7-zip and stored in a central repository, downloaded to my machine, extracted into C column backslash craft root. Three dot four gigabytes of things just in the bin directory. Okay. So how can we make this thing run? Start the plugins. No, and in here we have PDB and XF files. So by extension, there's a DLL which we need, access which we need, LK no, and then PDBs. So shift this So you still install PDB into somewhere where F5 
and the PDBs. Well, we can survive without the PDBs. What about the plugins? No, oh, F5. Okay. Falcon. And it starts. This is the ZKD web browser as there's no better KD web browser at the moment than Falcon. Works pretty well. Bar. Three heads blocked. Okay, so this uh, web browser tool, not just Firefox and uh, Craft, need to retry again if download if uh, connecting to a web website doesn't work. Okay, so blueprints, there's um, a git repository with uh, blueprints for KD, as we saw with um, Falcon. Uh, they're written by hand, a um, Python file. Not this, what's this? Okay, so we have set up a Windows 11 virtual machine. We have installed a Visual Studio 2019 community. We have set up Craft as per the instructions on how to set up Craft for Windows. We've installed two Pythons, Python 3 latest and 2 latest. PowerShell was already new enough, so five, version 5.1, where the minimum is version 5.0. Uh, we enabled as much as possible Windows 11 development mode. We installed Craft 1, 2 steps. I have set these two environment variables. I'm not really sure they're needed. I have uh, run as administrator the installation part. But then after Craft finished installing, I'm using just a PowerShell without any uh, administrative privileges, so not elevated as administrator. And I run this thing to set the environment variables. Okay. It reads craft settings, INI, etc. So this is a PowerShell script, it does its thing such that the PowerShell's shell shell that I just started becomes a craft shell. So PowerShell enhanced with uh, craft things, KD craft. And then in order to build, where are you? Using uh, craft search and then the end of the package. The name of the package is just the name of the Git repository. So the last part in the Git repository URL. 
which is the na same name as the name of the tarball, the name of the executable, etc. So K calc, falcon, etc. K algebra. Craft package name to build it. So it uh, downloads all of the dependencies pre-built. It inflates the dependencies to the correct directory and then it builds just the package. So I have seen it download KF five seven zips with uh, which were pre-built, cute seven zips which were pre-built, but then for gamma ray it downloaded the source tarball for gamma ray at for its dependencies. Okay, the machine state machine editor. There's a possibility to uninstall, to update. There's the source directory of a package. Let's see what that thing is. So let's go CS, which means CD to the source directory or Falcon. CS is not recognized. Please run the following to get started. So I'm in the wrong PowerShell. I'm actually using Windows Terminal and PowerShell in there. CS Falcon. So the source code is build underscore something Falcon. I'm not sure that's the thing. So craft root build underscore. Well, this is a symlink. Okay, but then the correct place is KD unreleased Falcon and then work and then this thing. Okay. So it uses symlinks to point in here. Not a git check, a git clone because it doesn't have a hidden dot git directory. Okay, how do I build if I change something? So this is a session file for craft blueprints KD git repository. There's other um, projects besides KD that um, use craft, such as OnCloud and Quasel IRC. In the configuration file craft settings.ini, I have set the correct. Uh, Compiler like this, but twenty nineteen, and then the Python paths, and then really with debug info, I can switch to debug, and then I can install Qt Creator and Qt Five from the Qt website. So then I'm going to be able to edit, debug, have an ID for, for instance, for Falcon or for the Git repository that they're kind build with KD craft. And then where I'm going to git clone the thing. Ninja. And the make program is JOM instead of GNU make. Okay, there's a channel KD minus craft on matrix and IRC. 
a KDU Windows uh, mailing list. Okay, so this is the community.k.org guidelines and how to's build from source on Windows. guidelines and how to so with a switch from guidelines and how to's to to getting started get involved something uh, something has happened there maybe the get involved development thing should allow for uh, developers that use just Windows. So they get clone on Windows, they use MSVC, Microsoft Visual C++, Toolchain, their Qt downloaded from the Qt uh, website, or maybe the Microsoft Visual Studio Qt. So Visual Studio with uh, the Qt uh, tools for Visual Studio, extension for Visual Studio from Qt. Chocolate is kind of a package manager built on top of NuGet for Windows. It allows you to install Visual Studio 2019 with uh, VCL with ATL, and then Choco install Y, which means yes. PC tools, native de native desktop manage desktop build tools and then sdk 10 such that you can install the microsoft visual c dependencies not by using visual studio installer which is a gui application and all needs you need to click on it in it but by from the command line which is probably faster because it doesn't wait for you to press buttons and uh, easier to script and easier not to mess up. Okay, switching to the source directory. Switching to the build directory, cbcd build directory, compiling a package, craft compile package name. Then it allows you to create an X installer, setup installer for uh, Windows. Let's see that. So craft. Minus, minus. Package. Choirs and sys. So NSYS is the NoSoft installer, the technology that was used in order to create the installer kit for Winamp. It's just a pre-built 7-zip archive was downloaded and extracted. And this thing is written, craft is written in Python or Perl. How do we know? So it's written in Python. 
which makes it easier to fix bugs for as opposed to kdsrc minus build which is written in Perl, which only mpine really understands Remove unused symbols, delete symbols. Move symbols, so PDB files does a ton of things with PDB files. Cute positioning. And then it compresses Falcon Windows Pull chain DBG, so all of the PDBs that remained that were filtered were not filtered out. It's a uh, seven zip archive with it. Including two to a bench in core dot PDB. That's the correct thing to do on Windows. If you use Visual C++, it's going to generate uh, binaries of the other files, XF files, but also PDB files, the files which have the same name of the, as a DLL or XF, but with PDB extension, which contains debug symbols. So it's important to have a zip archive with the debug symbols, with the PDB files, which goes along with your Windows installer kit. They form a pair, so you have the installer kit for a certain product, a certain version, then the archive with PDB files for that installer kit. Okay, and now it creates a 7-zip archive with all of the files which are needed. So executables, DLLs, I know. Web browser plugins, ad blocker, etc. etc. And then it says make ansys.exe, parcon.nsi, ansysconf.nsh. Output is a not dot seven zip. This file, but the same file name with an X at the end. So that's an NCS and Windows installer X which uses NCS technology and it's uh, x86. Windows installers are usually x86 and then that uh, they will install correctly on both 32-bit or 64-bit windows zip compression install code install data uninstall code x header and size total size 91 megabytes okay so we're in TMP where's the output percon.nsi let's look at it so registry key software kdv falcon uninstall key software microsoft windows current version uninstall falcon XP star, so this is the com ctl32 manifest, dpi aware manifest, Falcon with version inside of TMP. This thing, 
it uses the generic um, icon for uh, KD craft. It's an Excel file. No digital signature. No version. Info block. A um, what does it contain? Seven zip an archiver. The entire um, seven zip file correct. Uninstall. Craft icon. And then this is the install wizard. Another DLRs from the third party technology which is NSYS. Very very clever. So just a the 7z file that's already anyway generated which contains the LLX access and other build artifacts so if you have the contents of the 7-zip it's enough for you to actually run Falcon and then inside of the NSIS, NSIS installer you just have the 7-zip and you manipulate it, you extract it, you delete it etc. Okay so this is it. Thank you.